Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. It is quitting time, heading over to my mom's house. It's her birthday today, so happy birthday, mom. And what you should know is that in Florida, the temperatures dropped. Uh, if you watched the video last night, I mentioned that the uh, temperatures were going down a little bit, but temperatures now dropped. Uh, this morning was about 28 degrees or so in Orlando with the wind chill and probably about 30 degrees or so mid-morning. Right now, I think it's in the 40s, but uh, I'm trying to see if I could find one of these things as we're driving. Um, what folks do down here, because it doesn't freeze very often, is uh, they start covering all of their vegetation or their plants and stuff that they don't want to die. And, and, you know, in front of my house, my plants died um, a while back when we had a really bad cold streak for like uh, three or four days or whatever, when it was like 20 something degrees. It does get that cold here, not often. But it happens and anyway people cover their stuff up so the front of everybody's houses kind of look like ghosts like just you know halloween cheap sheets on top of stuff ghosts because they cover things up hey and then i'm going to switch to the gopro for a little bit and show you some of the back roads of florida because there's a really windy back road that i take to get over towards my mom's house that I'm hoping has a really cool look right now with the trees and stuff, but I haven't been over this way in a little bit, so I don't know. We'll see. Take it out.
I should mention that in Florida, there's no inspection on your car. So you find things like this, where this guy basically has a cab and no back of his truck driving around. That's kind of commonplace. Or you'll find cars that are missing complete front ends and it's basically like an engine exposed or cars that are missing doors. All kinds of craziness. But that's the way things are here. You just gotta kind of pray that uh, some of these guys have uh, car insurance for when they're wiping out into you because a lot of them don't. We've had two of our cars that were parked next to each other in a parking lot get wiped out by somebody who was uh, drinking and high and left the scene, came back, admitted to hitting the cars, had no car insurance, was booked, and they let him go because they didn't have proof of him hitting the cars, even though he admitted to it. So that's the kind of stuff that happens here. And I should mention that he had no car insurance, so basically my insurance had to foot the bill for everything, including deductibles being paid. That's awesome. So this is the kind of stuff that always happens here too. So the speed limit's about 55 miles an hour. The car in front of us is going about 40. And this is where accidents normally happen. A lot of these lines are double yellow lines, so you can't cross over the lines, but some of them are dotted where cars will speed ahead. And this road tends to be an accident um, magnet, like I-4 is. It's mostly due to guys like that, that drive super, super slow, and people get frustrated and try to go around them. There's so many bends in the road that you can't see what's coming up in front of you. As you see out here, a lot of these places are just um, all citrus farms. When the temperatures drop like they did today, that's when these folks go into panic mode and they look to um, stave off the freezing for the citrus crops that they have, which, is up, uh, which ends up driving up the price of your orange juice and your oranges across the country because a lot of that stuff comes from here. Welcome to the Villages, Florida, home of a million and one golf courses and about 18,000 town squares. And it's party time all the time, for retired people at least. You guys can see the remnants of the sunset. It's really pretty. It's too bad we didn't get here a little earlier because we could have got out of the water. Go by the water and check it out. Look at that! I like that that car is for sale because it's not bad enough that it's a smart car, but you got all those crazy designs on it. So you see up there, those guys covered their bushes with blankets. There's the little ghost to hide all of the winter away. Hey, we're back home. Dinner with my mom was great. That's Mary. She didn't come. Um, it's a quarter to twelve, so I gotta get to sleep because we gotta get up and work again tomorrow. That's what they make you do five days a week. That's just too much, but that's what we do. Um, I didn't film anything with my mom because that's the way things are. Sometimes things are private, but anyway, we're back home. And you know what I meant to show you? Uh, some folks actually noticed this above me because on the top of the fridge, it was any other day. Um, but I'll show you what this is. It's dragon meat. You know, I'm not sure if folks have uh, eaten dragon meat before. It's really delicious. I'm gonna have Mary open this thing up. If I can. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna open this up. The dragon meat. It's delicious. It's really good. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> oh, it's a dragon head. Oh, and look, it's all cut off and everything. Oh, it's like a fine <laughs> steak. That's what dragon meat is. <laughs> And what dragon meat actually was, was it's a freebie from Think Geek. So I think Think Geek should probably put us on the payroll at this point because we promote Think Geek all the time in these videos. But I love shopping at Think Geek. I'm going to say it many times. Think Geek. Think Geek. Just in case the Think Geek people are watching. <laughs> We've bought an awful lot of stuff. But if you shop at Think Geek, I don't get a commission from them, so don't think that at all. But if you shop at Think Geek, Every time that you're a customer and you log in and you give them your, your name and stuff like that, you earn points for everything that you purchase. So you use those points for freebies and things like that where it might be like a $10 item you can get for free pretty quickly with the points. So every time that we order stuff from Think Geek and I got um, Mary um, stuff from Valentine's Day anniversary. So the kittens that were in the bouquet came from Think Geek and the uh, TIE Fighter pendant as well, so every, it just accumulates more points. So every time I, I'm using more points, I'm going to talk really quick because this is boring people, but uh, every time I use more points, I get the 
the freebie so. thing. So that was Dragon Meat because I was like, oh, you know, it's pretty cool. Dragon Meat. Don't they give you that Met shirts too? Yeah, the at, like at Christmas time, you guys might have uh, remember I had a, a Christmas shirt that had. Um, uh, cotton, can uh, cotton candy. <laughs> candy cane. I'm really tired. It's a candy cane, and it said meh. So every time we went to theme parks, you know, the people that work there, like the characters and stuff too, were like, oh meh. And they've done these meh shirts for like every holiday recently, and the meh shirts are free when you spend like thirty bucks. So for Valentine's Day, Jesse got the meh shirt with uh, a heart on it. So anyway, <laughs> free stuff and free shipping, and God, you know. Somebody sent a video to Think Geek so we can get some commission or something. <laughs> They've been really awesome with us. So, like, we, you know, this is another Think Geek story, so we're going to draw on and on about this. But um, last year, Star Wars Celebration was in Europe. It was in Germany. And it was everything, like, the, for the, the promo items or the um, exclusives was, like, soccer-based. So they gave away, or they didn't give away, they sold soccer scarves at Celebration. And everything that... Didn't get sold to the population at Celebration, Think Geek bought and sold through their site. So I ordered a, a soccer scarf that was um, Imperial, so it had Death Star on it and stuff like that. Really cool stuff. They sent the wrong one, they sent the Rebel scarf. So when I got in touch with them, I said like, hey, yeah, you sent me a Rebel thing and I'm supposed to be an Imperial. Like, how insulting. Mm -hmm. And instead of them saying like, here's you know the address in the back, they sent me another one for free. And they've done that before with uh, things. And um, when really we were at... Celebration in Orlando, uh, we had a table with our fan group, and so we were there a little bit later than folks. But as they were breaking down stuff, uh, Mary and Jesse saw a, a pocketbook from Star Wars that they liked, they were going to purchase, and the folks there at the table gave it to them for free. So I've had nothing but killer experiences with Thinking. And again, I'm not making money from them. <laughs> but if you send this video to them, maybe I will make money from them. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to sleep so I can wake up in five hours and go to work. Yay. So, thanks for all the likes and the comments and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys. Bye.